Wouldn't life be great if we had a tiny little checklist with tiny little tasks inside to take us to success? Like read this book, take this course and boom, here's your successful career and million dollar business. That's not really a thing in real life, of course, but it is pretty much doable on a smaller scale of success and value. Hi, this is Sarah from User Guiding, and today we're talking about user onboarding checklists and how they guarantee success with a bit of well-focused gamification. Intro, check. Next up, what is a user onboarding checklist? A user onboarding checklist is a user onboarding UX element that realizes the principle of gamification in onboarding. An ideal checklist is introduced to users during the initial onboarding and is designed to get the user to the points of interest and of course aha moments, which are the milestones in user onboarding where users start to get value. How to make user onboarding checklist work then? There are a few key points to keep in mind for the ultimate user onboarding checklist. One, a good set of tasks. No user is going to be bothered going through an onboarding list uh, if there are 12 tasks with directions barely even recognizable. You can't just tell a user to go to the operations directions HQ page, flip the scoreboard button and on the way back get donuts. Not when they just stepped into the product and don't know what all that means. So a good easy to understand set of tasks is crucial. Take it slow, keep the tasks short and the number of tasks small, unless you want to see your checklists untouched, that is. Keyhole gets me with this example. That checklist right there is how they got a 550% increase in trial conversion rates. And you can check the success story in the description. Two additional directions. Of course, checklist tasks need to bring users value and it is a hard task to make such important elements easy to comprehend. In that case, a great practice is to add additional directions to your checklist tasks. An even greater practice is to turn your user checklist into one with interactive guides, just as GrowHR did. A more familiar example is from Notion and their infamous getting started checklist, which is an actual to-do list with interactivity. In terms of hands-on UX, this piece of onboarding experience is one of the best examples of how to make user checklists work for your unique product. Kudos to Notion. Three, time to value balance. We already said users might not be interested in the checklist unless certain conditions are met. One of these conditions is reassurance that they will get ahead with this user onboarding checklist in an acceptable amount of time. AKA, there is a need for time to value balance. If you don't offer to get your users up to speed in a speedy fashion, your checklist is not that attractive, but do not fret because you can present your checklist as worth it with a bit of attention to detail. First, you need a progress tracker, a progress percentage or a progress bar would do. A pro tip here is to start it off at 20% or 25% to give the impression that the user has already started off with it and that there is no harm in finishing it now. Second, a more tangible sense of timing can help. Amplitude and Navitic mastered this one with time indications and minutes. And lastly, you can use the checklist copy in your favor to make the process appear quick and easy. Crunch does that really nicely with their checklist subheading reading, get set up in under 15 minutes. The essence of this is if you are confident that it will be quick, easy and valuable, it will feel quick, easy and valuable to the user. So be sure of yourself first for a nice celebration. And lastly, a nice celebration or congratulations or even a good job can help start off with a good relationship between you and the user. The thing is, an onboarding checklist is essentially a favor you ask of the user for their sake, but still something they can choose not to do. Plenty of products out there that might be easier to use after all. My advice here, always remember the peak and rule. Users remember the peak and the end of an experience, so it is important to put a good sentiment by the end. Asana gets me with their checklist completion celebration. So to wrap it up, remember to keep your checklists short and easy, make it feel short and easy, and to always finish it off nicely. This was Sarah from User Guiding. If you know any other good examples, I'd love to know. So meet me in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.